Welcome back everybody to Fun Factor RC. My name is Wes and today we're going to be taking a look at the Axial 1.9 beadlocks and the Hyrax by Proline, which is a 1.9 rock terrain truck tire and it's a G8 compound. I bought these to go on the new Deadbolt 2 and I have one on there already. You can see the size difference. I'm looking for a little more ground clearance and a little more traction. $16.99 a pair at your local hobby town. The Hyrax was $27.50 a pair at the local hobby town. We're going to be putting them on this deadbolt. You can see the size difference here. Um, all you're going to need is your 1.5 millimeter hex head. The wheels come two to a pair. They will come like this with two screws holding the face rings on front and back. Each set came with four hubs, not hubs, but your hub caps and screws. There's pretty much nothing to it. Both sides have two screws just holding the beauty rings on, the rot rings, whatever you refer to them as. You take those out and these rings will flop down. So we'll go ahead and do this one real quick. I'm going to leave the one on the back for now. I just want to show you guys how these go. They come with foam in them and I, I kind of push all my foam to one side and that helps me set it. I did want, the tires will come with an orange dot and I don't know if that's from the factory for balancing or what they use that for, but there's always some sort of a colored dot on the wheels. And I want that dot to be on the inside so that it'll look the best. You can go ahead and put your rim inside. Uh, I am only doing this front side right now. And push your foam as far back on that rim as you can. You don't want to fight the foam. And even set it off the back side of the rim would give you extra room to work and you're going to set the foam as far back as possible there is a ridge on the outside of this tire for the bead lock for this tire bead to fit into and sometimes you may have to use a pocket knife or your fingernail to push it down into the groove once you get it seat or set once you get it seated all the way around and none of the lip is trying to force itself out of the channel uh, once it seats comfortably and it's not fighting itself I will take my ring some people call it a rock ring or a face ring a beauty ring and I will line up my holes as close as possible uh, and then I will get one started just with my hands. And then I will go ahead and get another one started just with my hands. And what I like to do is I like to go ahead and get all of the screws started. That way you're not fighting to locate the hole when the ring is too close to it. When there's more distance between them, you're more likely to have an easier time locating the screw hole. Once I have all the screws started, I will lock down two of them opposite of each other. 
And I'm going to look in there to make sure my bead is set like it should. And I'm just going to pick a random screw. And I'm going to go ahead. And when, I, when it starts pinching down, I pay attention, making sure that the rim, the tire is inside the rim. And then I go down snug. This side, you can still see the rim is in the tire. I keep saying it backwards. You can still see that the tire is inside the rim. And I will go ahead and lower it and lower it and lower it until it gets snug. I don't tighten it because I do it like lug nuts on a car. I do the star and then I tighten them later. But I have it started. I have my bead inside the rim. I have my beauty ring started. And since it's already locked down and it's not going to go anywhere, you can go ahead and tighten the rest of these screws up snug. And do remember, you are doing a machine thread M2 screw into plastic and you do not want to torque on it. When they start to feel tight, start slacking off. Uh, I go hard on the screw until I get really close to the bottom, and then I slow down until I feel it tight. And when it gets tight, I don't force it because I'm not wanting to strip anything out. And that's how I mount a beadlock tire, you guys. Uh, we will have to make another video for performance, but as far as mounting a beadlock tire, this is it. That's how I do it, and on the back side, I poke the rim through like this, just like on the front where I push the foam as far back as possible, and then you can put your thumb in the middle and then pull your tire out. Of course, you will take your beauty ring off, and then you can set your tire inside there and lock it down just like the front. And it will look like that. Looks pretty sweet. I think it's going to be a real good upgrade for this Axial Deadbolt 2. Uh, I'm happy with the truck. It could use a little larger tire and a little more traction. And this is what the store had. I don't know if you can see these lugs, but each lug has four tiny little, I guess you'd call them fingerprints. And it just looks like a really effective rock tire. See them little lugs and fingerprints I was talking about? See how it mounts flush? It's tight. I left the foams in these. Thanks everybody for watching my video. I appreciate that you took the time out of your day to watch my video. Uh, and if you do appreciate what I'm doing, go ahead and click the like button and share uh, and subscribe. Uh, all uh, support is appreciated, and everyone, thank you and be safe.